Hey family, Dr. C here, Clarence. I have a simple, simple question for you. And it's one that has to do with leadership, it has to do with management, it has to do with your own personal life in many cases. And that's around how are you motivated? And how do you motivate others? Now, if you have a task that you want to do, what motivates you? Is it money? <laughs> yeah, I can see you nodding. Yeah, how much money have you got, Clarence? Well, I don't have enough, I'm sure, to motivate you the way you'd like. Uh, but hopefully, you understand that money is a great motivator, and it's used all the time. It's a reward. It's a promise of reward. I promise if you watch the rest of this video, you'll get X amount of dollars. That would be a good reason to watch the rest of this video. But there's so much more value at the end of this video than a few dollars, and you'll see what I mean when, in a moment. But there's another side to motivation as well, and it's called punishment, <laughs> the threat of punishment. Oof, nobody wants that. Psychologists have actually discovered that we are more motivated by the threat of punishment than we are by the promise of the reward. It's called carrot and stick. People have already always understood that the carrot is the promise of a reward and the stick is that threat, that threat of punishment. And it works, but there's more to getting things done and sustaining that performance over a period of time than simple motivation. But that's a way of managing. And there's a different way to lead, right? So we're talking about leadership. And I'm not gonna go through the difference between management and leadership or you know, a manager versus a leader. You know what that is. If you're listening to me, you already know what that is. And if you don't, look it up. There's a thousand memes out there that tells you the difference between a leader and a manager. But leaders understand that there's something more than motivation, that carrot and stick. There's something deeper, something better that drives you from the inside. It's internal and it's eternal. It's not external and temporary, internal and eternal. What do you think that is? Yes, inspiration. If you're inspired to do something, right? Now, it doesn't matter that uh, if, if I don't hit my goal by uh, the end of the month, I might get fired. That's the threat of punishment. Uh, if I make my goal and exceed my goal, I'll get a bonus. That's the reward. Those things don't seem to matter anymore when you're inspired because inspiration comes from within you. Inspiration is a way of becoming more, becoming better, becoming the best, becoming excellent, becoming exceptional, just reaching for the stars, not for the goals, but for the stars. And when you can reach for the stars, my friend, oh my goodness, not only do you excel past the goals, but you feel more fulfilled and you want to just keep going. Now, inspiration is not easy to find often. You know, I can tell you what, but the how to is really the key. You know, I could say, well, there's a bird, there's a plane. No, oh, that's Superman. Okay, we know what it is now, it's Superman. But how does he fly? How does he get up there? That's what you need to know, and that's why I'm here. First of all, you've gotta find what inspires you. You're not gonna be able to spark that level of inspiration in anyone else. In fact, let me tell you something, you're not gonna inspire anyone. I'll, I'll tell you that, I learned that a long time ago. It, it, I know I'm not inspiring you. <laughs> it's, yeah, I'm not inspiring you. Of course I can't because I'm external to you. Inspiration has to come from you. That You've got to find your own inspired foundation first. What inspires you to be more, to be better, to be the best, to be excellent, to be exceptional, to be just to, to reach for the stars, not the goals, but the stars. What inspires you? If you don't know that in your own self, there's no way you're going to find a spark in anyone else. You've got to find it for yourself. If you don't know it, that's fine. Find out what that is. Now, here's a warning. When you find out what that is, you may find that you're in the wrong spot. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry to break this to you. You might be doing the wrong job. If you're, if you're a, a mail clerk and you're handing out mail and you just, uh, it, you know, there's nothing about handing out mail that wants me to be better and the best, uh, exceptional at handing out mail then maybe there's something else for you where you can be your best, where you can be your true authentic self and be the best at it. So motivation off the table. 
yes, we're going to use it. We're going to continue to use it, the carrot and the stick, to motivate people to get things done. But there's a better way. And leaders understand this. Leaders who lead effective organization and effectively, they understand that this is something deeper. If they want a long-lasting, effective, internal drive to their organization, whereas motivation is external and temporary, inspiration is internal and eternal. So find it in you first. When you find it in you, now you'll know what it means, and then you'll be able to help others find it in them. I hope that helps. Be inspired and motivated from time to time. All right, take care. We'll talk to you again soon.